In this tutorial, we'll learn two things. We will first discuss how to create a realistic sky like this in Blender, and then we'll learn how to create a transition effect from daylight to a night sky. We will use an add-on called Dynamic Sky that comes by default when you install Blender, but this add-on does not give us the transition effect like what we see here, so we need to create this transition separately, and we'll talk about that. Let us start with a very simple scene. We have got a ground plane in this composition, and some rocks are scattered randomly on this ground plane. We did not set up any sky yet, so we have this blank sky which is coming from the default world settings. Let us first open Preferences from the Edit menu. Now switch over to the Add-ons tab. Then in this search box, we have to type the word Dynamic Sky. You will see that an add-on by this name is listed here. Let us click on this checkbox to enable this, and then close this window. Now press N on your keyboard, or you can click on this little arrow button, in order to display this sidebar. You'll find a new tab added here called Create. We have to switch over to this tab, and then click on this Create button. It will automatically switch over to the Cycles Render Engine. So let us change it back to EV. Then go to the World tab. Now, under this drop-down, you'll see that a completely new world setup is created, and it is named as Dynamic 1. So this is our default world setup. And this one is created by the add-on. Let us select this new one. So we will get a beautiful sky now added to our scene, and there is a far better lighting as well, which looks very natural. We can further customize its look and feel from the settings over here, but if nothing is at all visible, just go to some other tab. And then come back here. You'll now see the settings to customize this. But we have too much light present in this scene. As you can see here, we have a section in this add-on for the sunlight, so it has got its own light. And we already have a sun object from our original lighting, so let us disable this sun for now. But the amount of light is still quite high. You can reduce the intensity of this light by changing this value, let us reduce it to 0.75. Now the light looks soft and almost perfect. We can customize the appearance of the sky with the help of these three colors here. This sky color determines the color of the actual sky, which is visible through the layer of clouds. And then this is the color of the horizon, which is the lowest portion of the sky, or this part of the sky. This will gradually fade into the sky color and become the actual sky. And this color determines the color of the clouds. But the mixing of the horizon color and the actual sky color may not look very sharp, in fact I think it looks quite dull. Let us hide the ground plane. If we now look upward, we will see a beautiful sky color, which looks just perfect for this scene, but it is not so beautiful near the horizon, there we have a problem. You may want a clear sky almost up to the horizon point, with a very little effect of the horizon color. We can customize the overlap between the horizon color and the sky in the shader editor by modifying the existing nodes. There is no direct way of customizing this here. So let us go to the shader editor. This is the node setup created by the Dynamic Sky add-on. Let us zoom into it. We have to focus on this color ramp node that controls the mixing of the sky color and the horizon color. So click on this second handle and select it. We can control the mixing factor of the sky color and the horizon color by simply changing this handle. Let us bring it closer to the white handle. Or we can directly type a value here, like 0.1. Then let's go back to our viewport. Now we can see that there is a sharp changeover from the horizon to the sky color, and the sky is looking far more beautiful this time. You can also control the amount of visible clouds here by changing this cloud opacity value. If we say change it to 0.25, we'll have very less amount of clouds present here, and the sky will look like a clean sky. Let us go with the default value which is 1. In the next step, we will create a night sky for this scene, so again click on this create button. And we need to switch back to the EV engine like before. Now go to the World tab, and this time, in this drop-down list, we'll see that a second entry is created, called Dynamic 2, let us select this new entry. Then switch over to another tab, and refresh this tab, in order to display these settings, and we'll use these settings to change the second sky to a night sky. First, we will change the sky color, to a dark blue color. So this value field, should be 0.1. Then, we'll change the horizon color to match with the sky color. And similarly, the cloud color should also be same as this sky color. But a night scene should not have so much bright light. So let us change the sun value to maybe 0.45.
So we get a beautiful environment for a night scene, just by creating a suitable night sky through this add-on. Next, we will create a transition or a changeover from the day sky to this night sky that can be truly called a dynamic sky. But before that, if we check this dropdown, we will see that our default world entry has been removed. That is because whenever we save a file, any unused data block will automatically get deleted. So let us ensure that these are not deleted. We have to click on this shield icon, then Blender will assign a fake user for this and it won't get deleted, even if it is not used anywhere in our scene. We have to do the same thing for the day sky as well. Now, we need to switch over to the shader editor. This is the node tree, which is created by our add-on, for the sky called Dynamic 1. Here, we have to select all these nodes together, except this last node. Now, go to the node menu, and click on Make Group. Then go one level up from here. These nodes are very small, let us bring them closer to each other, and then select them together and zoom in. So this is the node group that we have just created. Let us change its name to Day Sky. Then we have to do the same thing for the Night Sky as well. So select all these nodes, except the last one. Then move them into a new node group. Now go one level up. Blender has clubbed the selected nodes and replaced them with one single node here, which is a node group. Like before, let us give it a better name like Night Sky. In the next step, we have to click on this cross button to remove the world settings, and then create a new world background with the default settings. And here, press A to select all, and zoom in, to bring the nodes into the visible area. We have to remove this background node completely. Then in the Add menu, go to the node group. You'll see that we have two node groups called Day Sky and Night Sky, that we have just created. Let us add a Day Sky node here. And we'll also add a Night Sky node along with this. And to join them together, we need to also add a Mix Shader node. We have to then connect the two node groups to the input sockets of this Mix Shader. And connect its output to the world output. Now, we can create the transition effect by animating this Mix Factor. Initially, we will keep this as zero, so we'll get only the day sky. Then let us go to frame number 20. We will insert a keyframe for this Mix Factor. Then go to say frame number 50. Let us change this to 1, so that we get only the night sky. Now insert a keyframe like before, and go to the first frame. Then, back to the 3D viewport, let us run the animation and verify it. The daylight will slowly change into the night sky. And we can also change it back from this night sky to the day sky. Let's again go back to the shader editor. First, let us go to frame number 70. We need to insert a keyframe here for the mix factor. Then we'll go to say frame number 100. We will change it back to zero, so that we get back the day sky, and we need to keyframe this as well. Now, go back to our 3D viewport, and run the animation again from the beginning. So we will see a beautiful transition first from the daylight into the night sky. Then it will change back from the night sky to the daylight. This is just an example, you can use it as per your requirement. And you can apply some more fine tuning in the lighting, or add some camera movement and other aspects, and create more beautiful output like this. So that was our tutorial on this add-on, and we learned how to dynamically change the background sky in Blender. I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.